Greetings, this is Star Illumination. It's early Sunday afternoon over here, 10th of September 2023. I've been doing a lot of homework, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, trying to source material on YouTube especially that helps me to understand what's happening on our planet, in our solar system, with the so-called climate issues, for better or worse. It's very clear that things are warmer, but how and why? We all know that there is this agenda going on, and some people are very suspicious about the agenda, thinking it's all made up, uh, fake science to exploit we the people by a bunch of global elites who see an opportunity to make a lot of money by scaring the poop out of us. That's one theory going around. It's a very big, popular, effective theory, and it's understandable how and why it works so well. But there are plenty of scientists who are kind of going, hmm, that smells. It's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, things are getting warm, let's say, but we have to understand that human people are hypersensitive to climate temperatures and environments and things like that. And over the last 150 years, especially where we've had massive exponential population growth, it is all that growth has happened mostly in places where it's optimal for growth. In other words, maybe it's warm enough, maybe it's wet enough, maybe there's enough food, but whatever it is that triggers massive population growth, it happens. It's no different from a weed. Oh, like over here in the backyard, there were massive storms, floods, uh, flash flooding, huge flooding storms here. And within 36 hours, the weeds blew up everywhere. Normally, everything is dead here. The soil is dead uh, because there's no natural water. But seeds can lie dormant. And then when they get the chance, just like now, you get this massive explosion in real time. It's the same thing with rats, rabbits, bacteria, whatever it is, things that like to populate and reproduce really fast when the opportunity arises. Frankly, in my opinion, humans are really aren't that much different. But I don't really like to live my life in fear, and so I like to look around like, well, what's the alternative view? If all these scientists are saying, wait a minute, it isn't just cars and gasoline and methane from cow farts that's, that's the problem here. There's other things going on which has nothing to do with human behavior, no matter even if we've exploded our populations. So I wanted to share something I found, and I'll do it the best I can. Okay, let's have a look. You, know, you should be able to see a video over here. And it's from a channel. I'll tell you some more in just a minute. I just want to play this thing, see if you can see it, all right? An ice age is coming, and it's not Milankovic who says it, but glaciers are retreating. Greenland is blooming with flowers. Arctic ice is disappearing. Sea levels are rising. Stop global warming, or the Earth will die. This, more or less, is the relentless message we've been bombarded with daily for years. Everyone says it, so why shouldn't we believe it? Only a few persist in claiming that the anthropogenic origin of global warming is merely an unproven conjecture deduced solely from complex computer programs known as general circulation models. On the contrary, scientific literature has increasingly highlighted the presence of natural climate variability that these models fail to reproduce. This natural variability explains a significant portion of the global warming observed since 1850. The anthropogenic responsibility for the observed climate change in the last century is therefore unjustifiably exaggerated. And the anyway, I'm not going to play the whole video here. I just wanted to show you that there is content out there uh, which I find highly credible. I remember as a little tiny kid, I had my telescope, I had my binoculars. When I was ten, uh, 13, I joined the local astrophysics society so I could have access to bigger telescopes and understand, try and understand what's going on out there. 
anyway, I'm still I'm stunned and amazed. I'm not a scientist. I never qualified. I wasn't good enough at school, but I'm still curious. Um, anyway, the channel, if you're interested, it's called Insane Curiosity. It's on YouTube, and it has some very well presented content about all sorts of things to do with the planets, uh, the climate, uh, things getting into ice ages, the end of the ice ages, what happened to the dinosaurs, all that kind of stuff, you know. But I was focusing specifically on climate because I've been amassing charts and information that indicate that there are periods, and there have been periods in world history, where it's been a lot hotter than it is today, where the whole planet is a steaming tropical swamp. And then at some times uh, where the whole planet was just one massive ice covered snowball. And there's everything else in between. But it happens that right now here today, it seems that we are in a what appears to be an optimal condition for these things, these organisms called human beings to prosper. So guess what's happening? That's what's happening. Massive explosion in our population because we can, because the opportunity and circumstances are there, and so we do it. It's very convulsive, sometimes very violent. Uh, some, uh, you know, some people take other people out in order to prosper. Uh, take whatever resources you have so that they can have it, so they can prosper, and so on and so on. It's a very beautiful, frightening. Uh, phenomenon, but we're living with it now. And if you're interested in see if you're terrified of the, the, what's happening with the climate, it might bring you some peace to understand that there is some very legitimate, valuable science behind uh, the, 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 the feeling that it's not just because of wacko human behavior. There are phenomena like the changing angles of the, the gravitational center. Anyway, I would highly recommend watching that particular video. The actual title of the video is, what the hell is it? Oh, I can't find it. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, it's called Okay, let me let me see if I can go over here. Give me a second. I'm going to go over here and show you. Oh, you can't see it very well, can you? Ah. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go to my magic post-it notes. I'm going to get a piece of scrap paper. I love doing this stuff, but I'm just trying to share help. Uh, it's the channel is called Insane. Let me spell properly. Curiosity, and that particular video is called Winter is Coming. Okay. You can find it on the channel. I highly recommend it. I'm in, I'm very very curious about this stuff because I, I, the same energy fields that affect our things like climate, volcanoes, earthquakes, and all all that stuff. I talk about it in our astrology notes here, uh, but we can expand this to the whole of the human experience and beyond. Okay. And one of the big things that's scaring people right now is all the heat. And yet, and yet, we have a title like this, okay? Which hopefully will calm, calm us all down and remind us that everything, everything is changing all the time. Things get warm, things get hot. Human beings really can't, are, we're very, very good at having populated the Earth, but the reality is when it gets over about 130 Fahrenheit, people die. When it gets like 20, 30, 40 below, people start to die. So we operate in this pretty narrow range. 
In outer space, it's much more extreme, but here on Earth, the optimal conditions for most people, if they had the chance to experience it, would be about 75 degrees, uh, like they have in San Diego, California, almost all year round. It's pretty much sweet all year round. You don't need much heating, you don't need much air conditioning. People just are just naturally comfortable and happy. That's just an example. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you get something out of this. 